I got all my points made. These are for turkey hunting this year. Here's a blunt. Instead of a deer tine, I've got a flake like a backwards yakin. But this is the original Blake, which is like a razor blade. Kind of like uh, Mike Tyson with a knife on his hand when he punches you. These things are devastating. And what I did here was just notch it deep, tie in my flake, <clears throat> and then notch the chisel type cutter on the other side. So this is all natural edges, which were super sharp, untouched. <clears throat> little different style got a little point on the end and it's all sinew wrapped and pine pitched in and that's it uh, this one kind of a chisel tip i did re-nap the edge um a piece of buffalo flint down here all i did was notch it out and put a sliver of wood back over it and wrap it to hold it in tight with some pitch i trimmed away the meat on the bottom of the neck and tied it on with some leather to a stick uh, that goes down in the decoy. Yes, the headless turkey. Okay, it's in there pretty good. I'm gonna make sure it's good and tight. It's tied on real good. I gotta have a direct hit. Let's see how they fly. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was a direct hit, man. Oh, it cut the vertebrae in half. Oh yeah, yeah, that would've. Yeah, that would have been instant death. You see it broke the tip, but it would still be deadly just like this. I mean, ain't no question, that big heavy blunt with those cutting ears, yeah, that would be devastating. But I think um, I may just put another point in there. I mean, why not? Just do some damage. Okay, let's shoot this one. It's got a... Um piece of Buffalo River and Georgetown. Just modified flakes, basically. Arrow's got a little end weight. I can feel the, you know, it's like a real blunt. Boy, that was close. Woo! Turkey neck and head points. Impact and cut. One, then I got this one. It'll cut just deep enough to get into the um, into the spine, the neck vertebrae, with a heavy punch. This one, a little different styles on different arrows. I'm just trying to figure out what arrow is going to tote what point the best this one flew really good the other day with this arrow so you know you adjust the uh, front weight and the spine of your arrow that's just a regular hunting point um there's another one cutter and point and a thicker foreshaft for more punch so that's what i got let's check it out as you can see punch one two three four five cutting edges Wow, another hit. Let's see what kind of damage we did. That was really wicked. You see it almost severed the neck, hit it in the lower neck there. Um, it did do some damage, but no problem. I'll just nap this thing to be balanced. Take this ear off, take this ear off and keep shooting it. I think I'll just shoot it like it is. It 
it did the job I just uh I want it to be balanced so I'll just take this off you know that's the thing I spent a lot of time trying to nap these things and get them perfect where they'll spin and be balanced and if you got them on the right spined arrow then they'll fly within a, a reasonable you know short range uh, of course you're not gonna be shooting at a turkey neck at long range probably don't need but one across there but let's shoot it and see what kind of damage it does good medium weight oh man I hit just above it wow that one cut <laughs> side cutters I think it's Buffalo River Chert and Edwards uh, Plateau Texas Flint up front on a semi blunt let's see what happens I think this will cut deep enough to get into the vertebrae of the neck and that's what I'm shooting at head and neck and this should do a lot of damage I think the main cutting edge is probably all I need. I lost one ear and there it is embedded in the target. I may not do this. I don't think it's necessary. Just a big heavy blunt with the front cutting edge because that's what cut that and it cut it. it it's all the way through, you see? That's the bone right there. Pretty, pretty dense bone, pretty heavy bone. You can see it cut right through. I mean, the, the neck bone severed right through it. See it? That's all hard bone there. It cut clean through it. And that leading edge done it, I believe. That. Front edge and did no damage to it. Wow. I'm gonna take that other ear off and just shoot it without those ears. I don't think I need them at all. It looks pretty mangled now. It looks like I've been hitting it with an ax. The arrow ax. Cutting the bone there, cutting the bone here, here, and here. I'm gonna take this ear off and just shoot it like that. I think that's plenty. I think this is overkill here. If I can get it off, it's in there really tight. I may have to change turkey necks too. The last cut, whoo, through heavy bone again, right through there. Of course, I did get a little damage, little damage impact right there. But I'll chisel another flake and put it in there. This is probably the way to go. This is the more simplistic but very effective cut and slug. Okay, the last one, just a flake, worked really good. So I may do that with this one. Uh, all this other may, is probably unnecessary. We'll see. Let me shoot it. We just having fun. Seem to fly good. I think I just pulled it. That thing flew good. It hit dead on. It's heavy, but that's what you want because see the hole? The bone, the neck is completely broken. It hit dead center of the bone. I can feel it. Oh, it's in two pieces. <laughs> You just have to take my word for it, but maybe you can see it in there. Wow, yeah, I, I don't believe I'll mess with that one anymore. I'm just gonna shoot it like it is. And the other one, I got two good turkey neck puncher cutters. 
hammer tomahawks, you know, war club axe, or whatever you want to call it. Man, I can hear that vertebrae in there crunching. Wow. Oh, that would have broke his neck. I think the main damage was just done with this front point. This never come into play. Okay, let's see how this one flies. It's just a big, thick arrow point up front with the cutting flake behind it, little oversized foreshaft. Let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, that one flew well. All I did with that one is just take a thicker foreshaft, hollow it out a bit, lay a piece of um, flexible uh, hickory over it and wrap it down and it's set with pitch. But that one flew very well. Let's try it again. That's a good one. I tell you what, just chopping this thing up like, look at that. You know, this one's tough. I mean, it held up, it's got meat on it. It held up really good. Okay, let's re-examine the damage we done. Look at the cuts. I mean, every impact, that one, was a dead center hit that went down and actually broke the neck. It doesn't look like much damage, but it did a lot of damage. This was just a slight nick. There's another slice down to the bone and several that cut the vertebrae clean in half. <clears throat> this one looks like a great white shark has been eaten on it or a bull shark look there's little slivers of bone that it broke and split i mean it's cut all the way in half look at that right through the vertebrae and you know these are like big farm birds so that that neck is broke there and all that is bone all this is bone there's bone fragments there look See, it's just fragments of bone. You know, I've always liked organic blunts. Look at that, that thing's severed. The bone severed in half. All those points seem to work well. They all would have done the job is what I'm saying. And I got to call the orthopedic office to fix those guys. I mean, they in pretty bad shape. Maybe some neck fusions. Okay. This is the point that penetrated down to the center of the spine. And, I mean, it, it broke the neck in half. No damage. So I'll hunt with it. This one was exceptionally hardy. I mean, it really stood up to a lot of damage. Nothing loose. And it's a good point. They're all greasy now. Um, this one, I got a little damage here, here. But you know what? That's what I learned. Don't make them too wide. I'll nap this back. I'll nap that back and just shoot it like it is. I used to have a deer tine in the front like this. It was just a deer antler. And I killed animals with it. But I really was wanting to cut the neck bone with this experiment. I wanted to prove that I could impact the neck and cut the vertebrae, and that's what I've done. So this one I didn't shoot on camera, but it hit spot on. It's just a um, typical arrow with a modified uh, flake on it, and it hit really accurately. I'll use it for a backup. This one I got to reset the um, 
I'm gonna take this blade out and put another one in. I just gotta heat it up and set another blade down in there. It's just set with pitch. So no big deal. And I guess this one probably was my favorite and one of the ugliest. And this, this flake here is it, it's not set dead center. It's kind of, I just hollowed out the fore shaft a little bit and made a little hollow, set the blade down in it and then put a piece of hickory over it and wrapped it on both ends. Nothing fancy by no means, kind of crude, but wow, it's accurate and it did the job. So I may start out hunting with this one. I like it. Well, thanks for watching. And I hope you see me kill a bird later on with these same points. Wow, that's nasty. <laughs> I don't know what to call these points. Sledgehammer cutters? I don't know. Now, they are wicked. That bone's broke all to pieces. I mean, it's nothing there. Just held together by skin and tendon and muscle. All the bones just fractured. I did this test with my fire hardened bow. It's throwing these super heavy points. I don't even know what they weigh. They're heavy. I don't care. You know, they vary in weight, but within that short range, doesn't much matter. You can hold them in there pretty good. Um, they want to get too scientific with this crap. I mean, you know, it's, um, it's primitive hunting. But my fire hardened bow, it'll throw them did a lot of damage I killed three deer with this thing this year so it's been broke in now I need a turkey all right everybody see you on the next video